Hey, what's going on YouTube? Raj here. I hope all of you are well. Today's video is a sense of the week video with a twist. It is really a sense of the lockdown video. The whole world is uh, pretty much on a lockdown. I hope all of you guys are healthy and doing well during these times. It's also a little bit of a twist because all of these fragrances are designer um, from designer brands. I've just been focusing on designers this week. I've got some mainstream releases. I've got some... Uh, releases from high-end designer lines and some old school fragrances as well so it's been a good week definitely really enjoyed this week in terms of fragrances so kicking things off with monday and i went with a fragrance from the brand bulgari this one is bulgari man woods in neroli i've got a little sample here i've got one more sample i'm going to give that one a full wearing too before reviewing it what i can say now in this video is that i really like this fragrance bright neroli um, with a little bit of sweetness in there it's got a bit of that soapy greenness uh, and that kind of ambery woods note that you typically find in modern uh, designer releases overall i think a really solid com uh, composition great for spring and summer and great lasting power so overall pretty good start to the week Going on to Tuesday, I went with a fragrance from Dior's Maison Christian Dior Parfum line, which is their higher, higher end line. And I've got a review coming out next week, I think. So stay tuned for that one. And this one is Purple Lude. Um, Purple Oud, yeah, I, I will, you know, the review's coming out in a few days, so stay tuned for that. What I can say with this one is it the, 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 the two words that come to mind are Parisian Oud. It feels like a, a slightly more restrained take on an oriental style, but done nicely, really, really nicely composed. I thought it was a nice fragrance. Didn't really have like a wow factor for me, but I liked the, note, the ingredients used, the saffron, the spices, you know, the woody notes in there, the vetiver as well, which was a really nice surprise. And overall, Purple Lude is a good release. Definitely uh, a good release. Going on to Wednesday. Now, recently I released a series on my channel just a few videos back called the Old School Fragrances series. And in that, I showed you a bunch of like samples and decants that I recently got. One that didn't quite make its way into the video because I hadn't, didn't receive it in time is uh, Jaipur Om from the brand Boucheron. This is the Eau de Parfum version. And yeah, this is so nice. This is really nice. In that video, I mentioned that I had discovered YSL's Opium Pour Homme for the first time. And this one I feel is in that, in that mold. It's a similar style. I love the spices. There's a, it's kind of like a powdery touch, almost like a baby powder vibe, mixed in with some nice floral notes and some smooth spices. It's a little bit woody. It's called Jaipur Om, but I think this could be a unisex friends fragrance very very nice very affordable fragrance as well i haven't tried the the eau de toilette version i definitely would like to if you guys have any experience of edt versus the eau de parfum version let me know your thoughts what are the what are the differences so looking forward to uh, getting into that one over the upcoming weeks and months okay so going on to Thursday, couldn't, couldn't count the days for a second. Thursday, this is a fragrance that was not really on my radar. The brand is not really on my radar, but I know a little bit about them. I might have tried one of their scents like one time several years ago, but don't really remember much about it. This is from Carvin, and this is a Vetiver. Carvin Vetiver. I must say, you know, a really, really nice alternative to Guerlain's vetiver. In that similar style, actually, I really did feel that they had, they were, you know, fairly similar fragrances, but this one had a more of a, a soapiness to it, which I really, really enjoyed. Vetiver is a really classy, very masculine um, note, I feel. I'm sure there are many women out there who also like uh, vetiver as well, but I just see it as a more masculine note, especially when it's done in this concentration. Very, very grassy uh, and very little bit smoky, but quite quite uh, refined, actually. I, I don't find this to be too harsh or smoky. It's a really, really nice balance. Carbon vetiver, yeah, looking forward to getting into this one. I don't know if you can see, but the juice is kind of 
has a greenish tinge kind of the bottle comes in this green bottle looks pretty cool um yeah do you guys have experience with this fragrance or any other carbon fragrances i've seen uh, a few online but don't really know too much about it or the brand in terms of like its fashion as well so yeah Okay, so going on to Friday, and this is a brand that I do know about, and most of the world does. This is Chanel. This is part of their Le Exclusif line, and this fragrance, which I've tried many times before, actually, when I've been in a Chanel boutique or a counter, um, I've sprayed it on many times from the full-size bottle and had to get a, uh, a little sample of Coromandel. Yeah, this is a really beautiful fragrance. This is part of their new, or not part of, but this is from their, you know, when they changed their whole Lay exclusive line to Eau de Parfums. This is the EDP version. Very, very beautiful fragrance, I have to say. So nicely done. So nicely done. Yeah, kind of does remind me of Zerjov's Richwood a little bit. There is definitely a comparison between the two. Um, but I feel like they once the fragrance starts develop developing, they they go in completely different directions actually. But there are some similarities there. I love the woodiness. I love the the chocolatiness from this fragrance. The softness actually, I quite enjoyed. It was a fragrance that lasted a decent amount of skin uh, amount of time on my skin. It wasn't like loud or anything, but had a sort of classy feel on on the body. Had a good amount of performance. I wouldn't. To be honest, mine a little bit more, but I, I quite liked that it wasn't too loud and bombastic. It, I don't think it would suit this type of scent to be projecting all over the place. Very classy fragrance, very well made. I've never owned a fragrance from Chanel's Lay Exclusif. Will Coromandel be the first one? Maybe. I've got a few others which I'm going to talk about in one video. I'm going to talk about this one, Bois de Zille, um, Quid de Russi and also Sycamore in one video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Yesterday, Saturday, I went to, I went over to Italy. So I was in France with Chanel and I've gone over to Italy and explore, I was, I've been exploring a fragrance from, is it pronounced Emene Gildo or Gildo? Emene Gildo, I think, Xenia. This is from the Essenze collection. Not sure if it's gonna autofocus or not. There we go. Perfect. And this one is called Madras Cardamom. This doesn't smell like a curry, in case you were a little bit worried with the name Madras. Um, but it does have a kind of Indian chai kind of feel. This is a really nice fragrance that unfortunately is lacking in some uh, body, shall we say. I will save my thoughts for the review. But uh, excellent cardamom notes mixed in with coffee, which is really interesting. It's a very interesting fragrance, but just lacking a little bit of that um, that X factor. I'm going to go into full depth. I've actually come to the. I'm going to go into full depth in the review. I've come to the end of this sample. It's definitely well made, like I feel like a lot of these Zenia fragrances are, um, especially in the Essenze line. I think the ingredients they use are really good. I just sometimes feel like. Um, they're a little bit, maybe a little bit too linear or a bit soft. There's always something that I can pick up on that um, doesn't quite work. But this is this is a nice fragrance. I think it's worth checking out for sure. And going on to the final fragrance in this video today. It is Sunday, and I've gone with a fragrance like uh, like Jaipur on from Boucheron, and I guess I think Carvin is kind of new actually. But this is from Cartier, and this one is Pasha de Cartier. This one is not to be confused. I believe this is the original that came out in like the 90s, I think. I don't know the exact dates. Not to be confused with all the various flankers. There have been quite a few flankers, actually, of Cartier's Pasha. There is a new one that's come out. I think it's just called Pasha... Parfum or something like that or have I got that confused anyway I tried a new Cartier release I think it is Pasha Parfum and it's really nice but this one wearing it today this is a good scent 
yeah, this is a really nice scent. I like the uh, the woodiness in here. I like that there is a kind of a similarity, I feel. I don't know if anybody else is going to agree with me, but I feel like there's a similarity to Platinum Egoist from Chanel. I don't, I don't know if anybody else has said that in reviews or anybody thinks that who's watching this video now, but I feel like I, I need to go back to Platinum Egoist and see if there is a comparison. But uh, yeah, it kind of has a... It kind of has like a very modern designer feel, actually, even though it has it did come out in the 90s. A touch spicy, um, kind of a touch aquatic, I feel. There's a cumin note in here that gives me vibes of uh, declaration. But yeah, I feel like this is a fragrance that has has that kind of spicy woodiness that you might find in more traditional masculine scents, but it's moving into the modern modern uh, kind of um, uh, d profile of some designer scent. So it's a nice little balance, actually. I really like it. Have you tried this fragrance? Have you tried any of these fragrances, guys? Maybe you own them. Maybe you've owned them in the past, or maybe you've got them on your to buy list or to try list or whatever. Let me know what fragrances you've been wearing this week or just your scent of the day. Whatever you have to say, guys, uh, say it. I'll see you on the next video. Like this video and subscribe if you're interested and check me out on Instagram. Take care and uh, bye.